This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Well, the one thing that seems to keep getting repeated over and over for the football cats is their lack of experience on defense. While the corners and safeties have logged valuable minutes, there are still questions at linebacker and even more questions about the defensive line. Head coach Mark Stoops was enlightened by some of the things he saw on both sides of the football during Saturday's scrimmage, but there is no hiding the lack of depth on defense. I feel like early on in the scrimmage, we, we both sides did some good things. Depth is, is, you know, needs to continue to be an issue for us defensively, and we've got to get that experience. That's why it's so important to get out there and play the game and, and put them in that situation because we are, you know, we have some guys that hadn't played much in this system. Former Kentucky Wildcat Avery Williams will be rocking these kicks in the Tennessee Titans home opener against the Minnesota Vikings on September 11th to honor those lost in the 9-11 tragedy 15 years ago. The shoes were designed by True Blue Customs. The Moorhead State football program has never been to postseason play, and this season marks the 50th anniversary since Moorhead's last outright conference championship. Now, the Eagles feel like they are a legit team this season after a 7-4 mark in 2015. This is Rob Tinger's fourth season as the head coach at Moorhead. Former Prestonsburg Black Cat Dalton Frazier says the offense will provide the electric. Real good. we uh, been in the room with uh, Jake Raymond. He's, he's one of the smoothest players, you know, just out of the breaks and catching the ball I've seen, you know, and he, uh, Austin, he's, a, you know, he makes throws I've never seen, you know, so they uh, potential to be real good. All right, here is a beautiful sentence. This Friday, the high school football season kicks off. Yeah, like I said, that is a beautiful sentence. Chris McNamee and the Pikeville Panthers are the reigning Class 1A state champs. They lost a whole lot of guys like Chatlin Jarrow and one of the most prolific rushers in school history with Derek Pugh. They also lose their center, Logan Coleman. He never missed a start in his four seasons at Pikeville. Uh, Coach Mack, he knows a repeat's going to be tough. Well, I think the, the pressure builds a little more because, you know, around here, you know, the, the last ones we won, there was three in a row. And so that's a, what everybody automatically asks is, you know, are we going back? We're going to do it again. And, and, of course, that's the goal every year you come out. You want to you wanna make that run at the, at the right time of the year like we did last year. But, um, you know, it, it's going to be a process week by week. Uh, I think we've got some young guys that it's going to take uh, up to mid to late season before they – uh, really start to develop and, and do well for so uh, that's that's the fun part of it is where we start out seeing how these guys grow and they come together there towards the end of the year all right you can see a full preview story of the pikeville panthers in our preseason pigskin preview mounted top 10 show this coming thursday on wymt and wymt.com at seven o'clock we will show you the stories and release the rankings for the first time this year and one last thing, the United States basketball team finished up group play with a win over France today in Rio. But as you can see, they were back on the struggle bus, winning by just three points, 100 to 97. That's win number 73 in a row for head coach Mike Krzyzewski with Team USA. DeMarcus Cousins started and scored nine points and five rebounds. Clay Thompson led the way with 30. That's sports, and we'll be back.